On our test track today, a very special oldie. The Carmen body celebrates its 50th birthday this year. The engineering comes from a 10-year-old Porsche. Carmen Ghia. In its original form, the name promised reliable VW series production technology coupled with elegant Italian lines. This Carmen is quite different. Optically, it's almost a standard model standing for brute force and hair-raising lateral accelerations, but the basic requirement for good times on the test track is a firm suspension. The suspension is perfect. I can really go around sharp corners. I can steer with the accelerator. It's very good-natured. As soon as I take my foot off the pedal, it's back on course again. Alarming acceleration, and from the road holding, you'd think it's running on rails. Even more impressive is the top speed that can be achieved. You just can't imagine what it's like to do three laps in the Carmen. It runs well and it's safe, you feel happy in it. I've driven other cars very fast too, there's really no difference. It holds a very straight line and you don't need to be afraid it's going to take off. Originally 95 miles an hour, now 190, quite an achievement. The trick was that active components such as engine gearbox and axles are firmly bolted to the massive rollover cage. Besides the brakes and many other components, the engine is also made by Porsche. The engine is 3.6 liters, slightly modified from the 993 with various technical modifications such as a cap air intake, some parts from the 993 RS and so on. I got it up to 315 horsepower. That figure brings a smile to Jochen Bader's face, but for the tight curves on the test track, it's almost too much. It takes an experienced driver to keep this silvery bullet on course. Luckily, the man who built this racer has done many miles in it. I have over 10,000 kilometers on the clock, and many of them were driving to the limit like today. I've had no trouble with it. Fill the tank, check the oil, that's it. The throttle response is instant, and he's away chasing another record time. The Carmen shoots to third place with 19.14 seconds. The only faster cars were the light Simca 1200S Coupe, a real slalom racer, and the NSU TTS. A fantastic performance as the Carmen is fitted with standard tires. Jochen Bader sums up. The Carmen is a wee bit heavy and really it's overpowered, so it was a bit like riding on a cannonball even at the start. The back brakes away very quickly. I've got 400 Newton meters there and it needs to be tamed. Really, I'm amazed that I managed to make such a good time. That deserves an honorable discharge.